brothers and sisters, settle, settle. I come to you this day with great news. My starry disciples, our search is nearly complete. For decades we've toiled and scoured and fished about this wretched continent for that ever-elusive tome, the Grimoire Eternus, the book to end all books, the storied and long fable, the Necronomicon! Yes, Sister Halo, that's, that's the one. Next time, maybe you let the actual cult leader speak its eternally horrible name, yeah? Thank you. The, uh, <clears throat> the Necronomicon! Yes, no doubt some among you have questioned its very existence. Our search has been wide and our labor great, with as yet no return. Well, brothers and sisters, it may be that we have come upon its actual location. Uh, Brother Bright. Gregory. Gregory! We talked about this, man. This night, brothers and sisters, our men... And women? And women are on their way to retrieve that tome as we speak. Is this not what we've been looking for since our establishment is a legitimate death cult? Yes! Is it not in our official membership charter? Yes! Is it not we who should be the first and only to lay our hands upon it? Yes! Shall we let the abominable butcher or other lesser cults get their stinking paws on our glorious bounty now that it is so closely within our reach? Yes! No! No! no. And with the Necronomicon finally in our hands, nothing will stop the Haunter from regaining his true form. No end to the work! No end to the work! So, where is it? We have found him, brothers and sisters. The man who will lead us to it. We have found him, and we watch. We watch. Hey guys, welcome to New Blind Let's Play. This one being Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. Or is it Gibbous? I don't know, sorry for misspelling and butchering the title in advance. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for tuning in and joining me on my journey through this game. Thank you so much for that, and if you don't care about my blah blah, just skip ahead. I can't help but utter a few words before I get into this. So, why do I play this game? The answer is quite simple, the Steam algorithm recommended it to me, and since it seems to know me better than I know myself, I'm going to trust it and play this game. Secondly, I bought it at some point when it was on sale, but it has been rotting on my pile of shame ever since. And that is a real shame, because Gibbous or Gibbous, whatever, is apparently a great game, and it seems to be right down my alley, so we are going to tackle the task of playing this gem. And now, without further ado, let's get things going. So first of all, oh, okay, uh, moving the mouse here. Oh, that's that's actually pretty nifty. I already have put the language on English. Uh, speech volume, music volume, this seems all right. Movie subtitles, disable effects, no, disable shadow and effects. No, we're not going to do that. Cutscenes. Well, we can't load a game because I haven't played yet. And that means it's finally time. Let's start a new game. Read all about it, sir. Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century. A storm. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. Change. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient book. It's supposed to have inside of it the kind of stuff that makes a Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weirdo cults popping up all over Darkham. You know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret-like. Cash is cash, though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. Put some weight on my man in rare and forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jack flip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. Dark and ancient? Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? Damn. 
most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Alright. Okay, he seems like a cool character. What's going on? Has the game crashed? No, it hasn't. Prologue. Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Alright, so here we are. Can we use... Okay, we can use the hold space bar to re reveal hotspots, which we are going to do. I'm just going to have a look, guys. Yes, I am recording. Well, okay. Hmm. Let's have a look at Darken. Darkham. Horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable. And I was probably too much to handle. Then she left me with an empty bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. Uh, my gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time. Glean extra information that might be useful. Or not. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now, I gotta investigate the library first. Okay, more Darkham. Not nearly as badly lit as the name would suggest, but... More than compensating on the creepy scale. Uh huh. Even, even more dark. Hem. No, gotta investigate the. Okay, so we know that already. So I'm gonna go downwards here. That's what is this? A uh, source hint at the Necronomicon hiding in plain sight inside the Miskatonic Library. How plain that sight is remains to be seen. Gotta look into it ASAP. Okay, what? happens if we go all the way no we can't okay so let's go upstairs again and have a look at even more darken surprisingly colorful here and there but i didn't let that fool me the town had been bubbling with occult activity for a while and i was about to look deep into it mm -hmm. no yeah I gotta investigate the library first Looks like some kind of gargoyle, swallowed almost whole by those dead vines. Mm-hmm. Can we interact? Maybe I could use somebody, but this gargoyle ain't it. Okay. What about this column? There's tiny graffiti on it. Stay in school. I guess it's an advice column. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, can we... Ah, oh, okay. With I, we can pull up the inventory. There are pretty big things I'm willing to carry around, but... Columns ain't one of them. Hmm, okay. Moon. Let's have a look at the moon. Crescent moon. Shining down on the horrid husk of a town that is Darkham. Can't interact, right? Moon doesn't do anything for me. Unfortunate. All right. You know, they uh, really have a vegetation problem out here. Hmm, I think I could fashion crude gloves from my tie to protect my hands from all the thorns and climb up to the third floor where all the unique and forbidden tomes are rumored to be held. Nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that's all. So let's enter the library finally. Huh. They really went out of their way to make this place as creepy as possible. Mm-hmm. With F5, we can save. Okay, F5 is saving. That's a good thing that there's that kind of quick save. Uh, we can't drag, right? No, sir. We're from different worlds, me and that thing there. Mm-hmm. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. <laughs> I don't want to trigger any hidden doors or anything. I'm just here to pick up hints. Okay, if you say so. That's where folks get strange ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. Nah, I do different kinds of studying. Okay, sure. Dusty, intriguing book. It's a dusty old book. Its title is really hard to read. I don't need it. Mm hmm, popular book section. It's the popular book section. 
Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels, you know, <laughs> Vatican mysteries and all that. <laughs> Not really my type of literature, but I can take a look at them. Not really my. Okay, maybe later, apparently, then. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. Concentrate, right? Can't reach it from down here, and I'm not sure I want to. The animations are great, by the way. That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. Mm-hmm. I guess I could lean on it while I interrogate the librarian, but I'm naturally intimidating. <laughs> That's kind of true. Okay, uh, can we actually click on ourselves? Okay, apparently we can't. Wait, is there something here on this side? Apparently not. Let's have a look at the librarian. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Evening. Good evening, sir. Hmm. So, how uh, how's things in the library business? So, how's things in the library business? Uh, you know, can't complain. It's a living. Those uh, electronic books hit me uh, folks hard these days. Nah, not really. People don't tend to read much at all anymore, so it's all the same to us. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not going to read all of the lines. Uh, I'm just going to click on them. Interesting library you got here. Is it old? Yeah, pretty old. It's old, huh? How old? Like really, really old. You might even say it's, it's ancient. Ancient, huh? How ancient? It was established by one Jeremiah Orne in, uh, let's see, uh, 18... a really, really long time ago. Huh. Thanks for the info. Sure. Mm-hmm. The name's Katype. Don Archetype. Here to see about a book. <laughs> Archetype. Well, you come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the, uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book, yeah, uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure, uh, you've got your, uh, oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. Hmm. You, uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular in existent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. Hmm, what can you tell me about these cultists? What can you tell me about these cultists? They come in all shapes and sizes. Can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything. But you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this will repeat stuff. I'm just gonna click it anyway. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind, personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the rare books department, though. Uh, at the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. Hmm. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? Look, I can tell you come from a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? And that, uh... Different era business ain't? Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it pays the bills. Hmm. Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. 
There it is again. Oh. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. Hmm, okay. Oh. Huh. So I guess we will have to uh, double uh, click screen, exit to arrows to teleport. That's not real teleporting though. Uh, thing on doorstep. Huh, let's have a look first. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. Okay, so the middle mouse button, the mouse wheel, clicking on it will open the inventory. Let's take that. Huh. Alright, it's saved automatically. That's good to know. Let's have a look. It's this thing I found in the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. Hmm. <laughs> it's this thing. Huh, can't we? It's this. Th yeah, okay, so... Can't we open it? Okay, apparently we can't interact with it. It's this. Huh, okay, apparently... We are supposed to give that to the librarian. I'm gonna give that a try. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business type. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? What? Mr. Katai! He's gone. Okay. Was that you making all that ratchet, Kerwin? No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set up a bomb in here. I, I was about to call the police. Nonsense! Do you call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I... uh... Okay, sir. Oh my goodness. Okay, we took over Caravan. He doesn't have an inventory. Okay, let's have a look around. Strange medallion shoe. Let's have a look at the shoe. It's Mr. Katype's shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. <laughs> okay, let's take the shoe. And the medallion up here. Okay, things have gone awry here. It's Don's shoe. It's all he's left behind. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? Yeah, that's really strange. Okay, let's have a look. I'd knock it off for sure, but I can't reach that high. So I guess that's why we got the shoe. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Uh -huh, the oh my goodness, there's the term. Is this what Dawn was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're coming with me, weird book. Okay, we took the ne Okay, this must be the Necronomicon. I never Grimoire I grabber. actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh, boy, <laughs> 
think, boss, think. <laughs> Don's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. All right, so this is when our real journey starts, apparently. Uh, okay, safely home. What? What the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? <laughs> what is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? Uh, you're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptuzi Dinjer Kampa. Per Adonai Methatron. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, I wish you could talk back for once. Okay. From now on, our cat can talk, apparently. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That, that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh, oh, what the? It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's there's different text on it now. What the? Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry. I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Uh, all right. Oh, we have to. Shinuli mutuma nuka lulublia bluey zidingir on a kampai. Which kitten would go back to normal? Rab mi lo yak zi ishtar kampai. Which kitty would go back to normal? Bel balago bel diri gubaga ka kampai. Which kitten would go back to normal? So we. Can choose. I'm gonna go with the last one. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? Darn it! Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? <sighs> Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumb snake possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or, or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. 
I'm on it. All right, guys. We are thinking, but I'm really sorry. We have hit the end of the episode mark, and I think this is a nice spot, even if it's a little bit of a cliffhanger. But this is a nice spot to end this episode. So if you want to know what all of this is about, you'll have to tune in next time for Gibbous, a Cthulhu adventure. See you then.